What What is Allah saying here? You know, qurba, what is qurba? Qurba means near ones. And Allah says in the Quran, Inna Allah ya'madru bil adli wal ihsan wa itai dhil qurba. Allah has commanded that you be given to those who are near to you. And who is considered near to us? Your family members, your parents, your aunties, your uncles. This is a hukum, a command in the Quran. And we're beating our heads in salah. Eh? Long Juma salah, raise our hands and making the longest dua. But because we're doing opposite to what Allah says in the Quran, maybe the dua ain't reaching anywhere. And not reaching anywhere. This is a command, do you know? When you have to give charity, when you have to give sadaqah, you go check the Quran, Surah Baqarah, you check all these different verses. You always hear about those who are near to you. The Qurba comes first. You have people in America, and I'm talking of America, I'm not talking of Pakistan and Bangladesh and, and other countries. They send thousands of dollars to people in other countries, and they got their own blood brothers and sisters who I need. They got their own blood brothers and sisters. And give to those who are near to you, who are in debts, who have financial problems. But these people get up in public and the $10,000 for such country. <laughs> Come on, Allah forgive them. Maybe they don't know better. I know this is sad, but this is bad. And this happens a lot in the community. I am getting to know story and don't go home and say it's a hadith I quoted and it's weak and zaif. This is straight Quran. And go check it all over Allah tells us about that. Do you know the Prophet says the life of a person is lengthened and becomes longer when they are good and nice to their relatives? That's subhanallah. The Quran commands it. And the Prophet ﷺ is saying, you get a longer life, more barakat in your life, when you are nice to those who are near to you. And he refers to your parents. Now, your wives, your husbands, your brothers, your sisters. Sometimes people think that, sometimes I ask people here, I said, who is that person? So that's my father, brother, son. I'm like, oh truly? The way they say that is as though he's a stranger. What a ajnabi hai. Ghair hai. He's a stranger. Do you know who is your father, brother, son? That's your cousin. That's your brother. Other than your blood brother, he becomes your second in command there in relationship. Do we forget that? Sometimes I meet people and I want to share this again. Listen, it's 47 years of dawah, Mufti Bilal. I run into a lot of crazy people out there. But you know what? It's barakat for me. I learn from them. I learn from them. I say, how are you doing? Who's that lady? That's my mother's sister. And they treat them like just maki behene. I'm like, mother's sister? You know who is mother's sister? That's my father, brother. You don't you know who's your father, brother? They have rights over you. A man went to the Prophet and said, I have committed wrong. The Prophet said, go home and do khidmat for your mother. And Allah will show his forgiveness and mercy on you. The man said, my mother has passed away. The Prophet said, is your mother's sister alive? He said, yes. The Prophet said, go and do her khidmat. What, is, what did we learn from that? That your mother's sister is a means of maghfirat, rahmah and mercy from Allah. What about the mother? Look at the consideration. Look at the, the relationship. 